Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Another watering day. Uh, yesterday I watered all my normal pots and the mounts, which is obviously the majority of what's in here. Today I've wa watered the cooler, shadier ones, which is a very small set, so it only took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, but you find things when you're watering. I mean, what I haven't found is this bloom open yet. Unless that's it. Is that all they do? It's like a, a bloom inside of a shield. Very weird looking thing. So if you look inside, oh that's going to be out of focus isn't it? Um, there's a bloom in there. A flower. But it's covered by that. Now maybe that's all they do. I don't know. It's the first time I've, uh, first time I've had one. But anyway, some of the new growths are pushing on now. Um, this one's got its uh, pitcher thing. And some of, the, some of the older ones aren't looking so good, but there's new ones coming. I don't think there's going to be any more flowers. I think that's just the one. But that's better than none. This um, Mastavalia Inca Prince has got another bud that's going to open very soon. And this morning I noticed another one coming on behind. They seem to last well. Well, we're certainly going to have two out at the same time. I don't know about three because that one's only just started. So uh, yeah, you find these things as you're going around watering. One of my little um, pinguiculas, because they were all divided up and repotted. One of those has got a bloom on it. That's nice. So they've obviously taken, that was the worry, was that I was actually going to lose them by splitting them up and repotting them. But they seem to have all taken. I haven't lost one. Uh, the other four are over here. These were the first ones I did. They're pushing on. You know, they're, they're in active growth now. I mean, this one's even starting to grow rosettes, new plants. So they've taken, you know, but they've been, they were repotted some time ago. Now, surprises, things that creep up on you when you're not looking. These aren't surprises, they're expected. But over the back there, that nobly type, that bloom is about to open. Maybe by tomorrow or the next day. It might take two or three days to actually push right open. But that will be a first time bloomer, that one. Um, so looking forward to that. But that's not a surprise attack. That's uh, expected with big fat buds like that. <laughs> it's expected. And the other one up there is going to do exactly the same. That's, that's Comet King. The other one I haven't looked up. Um, but this one is Comet King. And again, that's about to open. Two of the four buds are about to open. They've cracked, as they say. So they'll be coming soon. But what was hiding away, if you remember I said I've moved my Miltoniopsis to that back shelf because they're low down. They don't need a high shelf. They were taking up the high shelf where they were before, you know, a shelf for taller plants. I don't mean high up in the grow room. Um, so they got moved. Therefore, they're, they're on a back shelf now. Now, the one big Miltonia hybrid towards the end there, that's got two spikes on and possibly three but I didn't want to push it, push it about too much because those spikes are incredibly fragile when they first start. And in amongst them, that was hiding at the back of the shelf. Unbelievable. <laughs> that actually opened and I hadn't seen it. But like I said, it was at the back of the shelf. Now this is um, Miltoniopsis venus. This is a primary cross between two species that I've actually got. It's Vexillaria and Miltoniopsis phalaenopsis, which, which is, well, that name still fascinates me, how you could actually use a, a, a genus name for the actual variety of another genus just astounds me how somebody came up with that. It's not like it even looks like a phalaenopsis. Anyway, <laughs> primary cross between those two species, which I've also got, and maybe we'll see the blooms on those. Looking at this, my um, Miltoniopsis phalaenopsis has yet to bloom, so I haven't seen those blooms in person yet. The, the Vexillaria has actually bloomed for me, um, and I can see where this gets a lot of its shape, size and colour. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, a surprise, it crept up on me. Um, it was lurking in the back of a shelf. Gorgeous markings on that, and a nice combination of colours um, and markings. It's, it's just, it works. It works very, very well. 
So there we go, Miltoniopsis Venus. I had that one a very long time ago. Long enough ago that I didn't appreciate the, the, the serious differences between Miltonias and Miltoniopsis. Uh, so it didn't make it basically. And I always had it in the back of my mind. It was, a, it was a tiny little plant that I got at the Orchid Society with a spike with one bloom on it. And it, I don't think it ever bloomed again, but I remembered the bloom and remembered the name. So as soon as I saw this at, at Burnham's, I thought, oh, I'm having that. <laughs> and um, I think this is the second time it's bloomed for me. So uh, lovely blooms, absolutely gorgeous. See you next time.